everyone, this is Hannah and welcome to my YouTube channel. So recently, I changed the theme for my Instagram feed. I know it's not that much important, but some of you guys were asking how I edit my photos and what application I use. So today is the day. Okay, so I have attempted to make this video several times. However, I was not satisfied due to the following reasons. One, I was cringing watching myself give out instructions because I myself could not understand what I was saying. What I mean by that is, ano kasi, um, I'm not the tutorial giving instructions type of person. I'm more of a like just demonstrate and observe because that is also my preference of learning. You know, just being observant and hands-on, you know, just doing it yourself. Last was major, major, major epic fail because hindi ko na screen cap yung editing process ko. So it was more of like just a one-way editing tutorial. It was a total waste of time and effort. So I hope this time I will be able to give justice to this video. I will do my best to make this video entertaining, educational, and fast as much as possible. Okay, so just a disclaimer, I'm not a pro in this stuff. Whatever you're gonna see in this video, I'm just doing it because that's how I feel like it. And if you guys do it differently, it's totally okay and fine with me. I hope you guys don't get bored and hope you guys watch till the end of the video. So, let's start! using my action cam small pod and I will show you guys the behind the scenes. Right, so just a behind the scenes while I was filming this video, I was at the risk of having my camera multiplied into a million pieces by falling at the edge of my bed because I have no tripod and right now I'm using my action cam uh, monopod. Okay, so ganyan, I have to compromise. If you're smart, you'll find a way. Alright, so right now, I'm going to show you guys my editing process. Since this is going to be a tutorial, I'm gonna have the um, my phone's monitor in this section. So I'm just gonna scroll over so, let me start off by showing you guys the application I use. I have here a folder consisting of my photo and video editors. So I have a few, but the application I use the most is Adobe Lightroom. Okay, so I am already familiar with Adobe Lightroom because this is the application that we use back in college during our photography class. So I also have Adobe Lightroom installed here on my laptop. But right now, I'm going to use the application on my phone since this is where I edit my photos most of the time anyway. Okay, so let's start editing. So this is what we're going to edit. So this photo was taken by my official photographer, BJ Laurel. Thank you very much. Okay, so it's an advantage if you edit out a photo that was taken under really good lighting because it would be easier for you guys to tweak the brightness and add colors and just edit stuff compared to photos taken under really poor lighting. There's a tendency that the outcome would make your photo grainy or pixelated and the like, you know, so we don't want that. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this one. At the very bottom corner here are the tools. I'm gonna go ahead and start with color. Okay, so yung first na makikita nyo sa color is yung temperature, tint, vibrance, and saturation. Okay, so before I go ahead and touch that, I'm gonna go ahead and proceed to mix. Okay, so this has eight colors for you, saturation, and luminance. So ito yung first na in adjust ko. So I don't like striking colors, so we're gonna go ahead and try to minimize that. So we'll start off with the greens. Okay, so I don't like the green to be like really ganyan. So let's we'll go ahead and try to minimize that and try to achieve the dried leaf effect. So in 
order to do that, let's try to adjust it to 100 and see what it looks like. So, ito, it looks really bright. If we go negative 100, it looks like dry. Okay, so let's go ahead and adjust saturation. Okay, and luminance. Alright, so we have there, we have minimized the green color. Uh, it doesn't look bright anymore. So next, we're gonna try and adjust the yellows. Same uh, yellow adjusts the color of the leaves or any subject that consists the yellow color. So let's go ahead and adjust this one. Okay, not it's too bright. Okay, so as you can see, the yellows started to change to orange. Okay, so it's making the leaves look dry, but we don't want to look too dry, so maybe just right. So maybe just 64. Saturation, okay. Maybe 31. Next, luminance. Alright, let's make it up to 100. Afterwards, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the orange. Usually, it changes the color of my skin, so if I want to look like Shrek, so I adjust it to 100. Or if I want to look like an alien, so negative 100, but we don't want that, right? So, just right, maybe 20. Let's see. Alright, next saturation. Okay, so, um, don't want to look like sunburned skin, so maybe just right, 20 as well. Okay, next, the luminance. I don't want to look like a white lady. Okay, so this is what I look like if I'm Morena. Mm -hmm. Alright, so maybe just right, maybe a 10. Afterwards, I'm gonna adjust the red. This usually changes the color from my lips. So I don't want to look maputla, so maybe just right. Okay. Alright, next up, I'm gonna change the color of the sky. So I want it to look like a uh, bluish but not too blue like you know the orange and teal effect I don't want that maybe just the normal color blue okay oh, this looks cute okay maybe okay right there okay not too blue not too pale so just right okay not too white Ooh. maybe just right there okay next up the lighter blue Okay, I don't know if you can see any difference because I can't. But I'm just gonna go ahead and adjust it anyway. Alright, for the last two colors, I don't usually touch them because they don't do anything or any or change anything in the photo. So I'm just gonna leave them as is. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the temperature. So if you put it all the way to 100, so it's gonna look like it's really hot and it looks really cold. So I'm just gonna put it just right. Okay, maybe a tint. For the tint, don't want it to look so girly and so I don't know. So maybe just right as well. Okay, so maybe 20 there. For the vibrance, this will adjust how alive you want your photo to be. So maybe not too alive, just right. Maybe a 20. Yeah. And saturation, I want to go it down a bit to make it look dramatic. So maybe a negative 10. Alright, so afterwards, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the light. Okay, so we have exposure, contrast, highlights, and shadows, the whites, and the blacks. So what I usually adjust for is the shadows. So I'm gonna go ahead. I smell smoke. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and adjust the shadows. I like to bring up the shadows all the way up to 100 because it looks more dramatic that way. And then afterwards, I change the highlights. Not too bright, just right. Maybe a 20. Alright, and then that's when I adjust the exposure. So the exposure represents how bright you want your photo to be. So not too bright, just right. Maybe a 0.15. And then afterwards, I like my whites all the way down and my blacks all the way up because it makes the photo dramatic. But for this photo, since it's already bright, I'm just gonna make it like 40 and 40 as well for the black. 
there you go okay so that's usually the only tools that i adjust in lightroom nothing else i learned that the less you edit the photo the more it looks aesthetic because simplicity is beauty okay so afterwards if you're satisfied with the preset that you have created and, and you want to apply it to another photo all you have to do is just go to the top right corner of the screen press that press create preset then you go ahead and create preset let's say edit and then you can go ahead and paste that in any photo like for this one i'm gonna go ahead and click preset look for the word edit there it is so you can easily apply it to any photo you want but just a disclaimer though some presets does not work in all photos so what i do for example for this one if i feel like it doesn't work all i do is just adjust the brightness or the highlights or any of the tools i don't tweak any, anything else just that I'm happy with that I'm gonna go ahead and export save to camera roll and save maximum available for the size so that's it <laughs> okay so nothing extravagant in my editing process just the basics because that's just how I do it Alright, so if I'm happy with that, I can go ahead and import it to my organizing application. So, that brings us to how I organize my Instagram feed. Okay, so before we proceed, I'd like to give a shout out to these people that I failed to mention on my previous vlog. Shout out to Valerie Ann Bravo, Marcel Samilian, Praise Mylon, Edmar Badiana, and Quintin Vlog. So, hi you guys! Thank you very much for watching my vlogs and for supporting me all the way through. So, that's it you guys for today's tutorial. I hope you guys were able to learn something. If not, well, I'm really sorry because I'm not a really good teacher, but I'm fine with that. Okay, so I hope you guys were able to enjoy this video. And if you guys happen to have any other suggestions on what videos I should be doing next, Feel free to comment down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to click like 